Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Brain implant computer chips might sound like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but for one human, it's just become a reality. Here's Josh. Imagine being able to control technology with just your thoughts. Well, believe it or not, this kind of technology is kind of becoming a reality. In fact, Elon Musk says one of his companies, Neuralink, has just implanted a computer chip into a human brain. That's a big deal. Um, that is a monumental achievement, honestly. The chips are designed to allow people to control their phone or computer just by thinking, which some say could be a huge game changer for those who have lost limbs, have mobility issues or are paralysed. I'm guessing that in the future they won't just be using the Neuralink to tell your phone what to do, but to actually send the signals to a robot or send the signals to a prosthetic limb, for example. Scientists have been trialling the tech on animals so far. <clears throat> yes, this is a monkey playing a video game with its mind while other companies have already started to test it on humans. Like last year, when a man who was paralysed was able to walk again. But some experts are worried the tech is too risky, because we don't know what the long-term effects are yet, while others aren't happy that companies are testing on animals. For now, Elon Musk says the latest patient to have a brain chip implanted is recovering well, and he reckons there's already been some promising results. So we'll have to wait and see just how big this tech gets. Whoa. Now get your eyes ready, because they're in for a treat. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured these incredible new images. They show 19 spiral galaxies in more detail than we've ever seen before. The data collected from the telescope will give scientists new information about star formation, as well as galactic structure and evolution. One of the world's biggest mysteries might have just been solved, and it's all thanks to sonar imaging and a crack team of deep sea explorers. Here's Ren to explain. What do you think this is? Yeah, well, experts reckon it's actually a plane. But not just any plane. They think it could belong to Amelia Earhart. She is one of the world's most famous pilots and set a whole heap of records, including becoming the first woman to fly solo and non-stop across the Atlantic Ocean back in 1932. In 1937, Amelia had a new record in her sights to become the first woman to fly around the entire world. But not long after takeoff, she mysteriously disappeared without a trace, never to be seen again. For decades, explorers and authorities have tried to find her and her crashed plane, including these guys. They used information from her final flight, like the trail of radio signals, as well as looking at things like wind direction to try and zero in on where she might have gone down, and then used sonar imaging to begin searching the floor of the Pacific Ocean when they stumbled across this. The size of the aircraft and the dimensions are very close to what we'd expect for her aircraft. The researchers say there's still a lot of work to do to figure out if it is actually Amelia Earhart's plane or even a plane at all. And that process could take, I mean, it could take five, ten years. It's not, it's not something that's going to happen tomorrow. So for now, the mystery of Amelia Earhart continues. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the final segment of today's show, featuring Vikings, penguins and, um, pigs. First up, to a burning boat. Oh, that's a bit intense. And a thousand flaming torchbearers marching the streets of Lerwick in Scotland. It's all for the annual Viking Festival, which for the first time in the event's 142 year history, saw women join the men for the spectacular march. That is one way to hold a bonfire. Now to South Australia. Yes, South Australia, where this king penguin was spotted very far from its Antarctic home. It's a pretty rare sight and has left some scientists scratching their heads as to why it ended up here. And finally, if you've ever wanted to sip on a cuppa while petting a miniature pig, you're in luck. This pig cafe in Japan reckons it's onto a winner with this idea. Oh, they're just so cute. Um so tiny and, and so small and kind of want to take one home now. It's the latest in a series of animal cafes popping up around Japan. Interesting, hey? Hmm. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>